I know that there's like this whole trending <sighs> curly girl routine situation, okay? It's been around for a while, but no one gave a crap about curly hair until it was trending on TikTok. Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get this hot mess of hair into my day two curls where they're full and bouncy and just luxurious in a few simple steps. So if you want to know how I turn this into beautiful curls, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we'll get right into it. All right, so first things first, I know I look a hot mess. I know, I know. It's the first and only time you're gonna see my hair looking like this. Like it's not done at all. Like there's no hair done. That's it, that's it. I also have this, ah, uh, this friend right here. Yeah, 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 I know, leave it alone. Ignore her, I woke up with it on my face today. So basically what I'm gonna show you guys is how I get my curls after my wash day. So I'll wash my hair about once a week, maybe a little bit longer, and I just kind of use it some techniques throughout the week to bring life into my curls once I wake up instead of washing my hair because I cannot wash my hair every day. It will dry out my scalp, already dry, so it's like, it'll make it worse. Um, and it just, it's not good for my hair, so I just don't do that. However, I do have curly hair, so when I wake up the next day, it looks like this. So we are gonna show you, we, it's me, it's just me, one person. I'm gonna show you how I get this to turn into this. All right, so the first things first is I kind of just like let it out of the hair tie. The hair ties that I like to use, and I have like a lot of, what, bleh, the hair ties I like to use are these plastic like scrunchy ones, well, not scrunchies, but like, I don't know how to explain it, but they're like plasticky curly ones. I actually, um, started using this after I saw Brad Mondo had said that it's good to use on your hair. They don't get caught in my hair at all. I thought that they would really get caught in my hair because I have really, really t like curly, tight curly hair at the bottom. And I thought it would get like tight in there, but it doesn't at all. But I know that people said that cotton scrunches and s cotton scrunchies are not good for your hair because it causes a lot of frizz and breaking because it pulls. And when I do take those out, I do find that I have a lot of hair like tangled up on them, where this I don't lose any hair. So the first things first is I'm going to be using a water bottle to kind of break down the product that I already have in my hair from yesterday. Um, this was in my favorites video. I will go ahead and link that right here. It is literally, I got it from Amazon and it just missed, but it will soak your hair. So before I used a water bottle, I would just literally go in front of the sink and just soak my hair that way but the problem was I was getting like all of my clothes so I had to make sure I did my hair first before I did my clothes or my clothes were gonna be wet and you can choose to do like a clicking spray instead of a continuous mist so I focus the water mainly on my roots because that's where I get most of my frizz and then I do a little flippy flip and then just get this wet and a little zhuzh on the curls. Mimi. <laughs> I don't completely soak my hair, but if I feel like I put way too much water in, I will go in with my microfiber towel. It's just like a little head wrap, and I'll just scrunch some of it out. So just from adding the water, you can see that like I've lost a lot of that frizz. However, if I leave it this way, it'll dry exactly how you just saw it, like just be a mess. And I also, um, I don't brush my hair unless I am like fully washing it and then I will brush it. So basically I brush my hair like once or twice a week. Um, if I'm putting it up, I'll brush it or like comb through it, but I really don't brush it because if I were to brush this out, I would look like a crazy poodle. So <laughs> I don't do that. So the next thing that I use is my Curl Talk, my Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse from Not Your Mother or Not Your Mother's and I just give it a shake. Now this one I will turn my head upside down for. I do find that if I turn my head upside down when I'm doing a lot of things, it gives it more volume. And I'll just scrunch this through the ends and a little bit towards the roots. So if I look and I'm like, okay, like I'm looking in the mirror over here, like it has some volume, the mousse did good. I didn't use mousse for a long time. And then I realized like it's just a lot better than gel. I do use gel as well, you're gonna see that. But I feel like it's a little bit better because it kind of gets that frizz down. Like look at this, like my hair, it looks like the frizz is gone. It's gone. 
So the next thing I use is Girls With Curls and this is the Light Hold Gel. It's a defrizz gel. Now I do wanna say also, See my sweater here? It's a nice comfy sweater. It's chilly outside today. I love these big sweaters. This is actually from a company that it's a small business near me. It is a friend of mine that I went to school with. It's Free Thinkers. And I will go ahead and link it down below so you guys can check it out. But I really, really love this one. It's so comfy. It's like one of those like around the house like warm sweaters. So I just wanted to let you guys know. I got this nice little sweater on today. I know that there's like this whole trending curly girl routine situation okay it's been around for a while but no one gave a crap about curly hair until it was trending on tiktok um and like sometimes i'll have people who will like pop up in my dms and they're like you shouldn't use mousse you shouldn't use that gel you shouldn't da -da 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 -da. that's not curly girl i don't care I don't follow this curly girl plan. This is what I've done. I'm 30 years old. I've had curly hair my whole life. Like it's legitimately curly. It's not, it gets a little kinky when it's wet. No, so I don't, I get really irritated when people are like, well, that's not curly girl. I don't care, stop it. I just kind of, I don't do the curly girl routine. I stray away from it. I do use products that I feel work for me and my curly hair and I've had no issues for the 30 years I've been alive. So I will say that I did use to straighten my hair a lot and it did damage it. So that fact, that is a fact, like it is true. You shouldn't straighten your hair if you have curly hair cause it will damage it. But now that I'm older, I just want, I don't have time to straighten my hair. I just don't have time. And ever since I stopped doing that, my hair has been a lot more healthy. I also did a extreme cut last year, the year before. So it was like cut and the back was like completely shaved off. So like the underneath was shaved. So my hair kind of just was able to get healthy from doing that. So if you are a curly girl follower and that's fine, that's fine. Do not put in my comments that my hair stuff is not curly girl approved because quite frankly, I don't care. Like, that's just what it is. I'm not trying to be mean. I just don't care. I use what I use. You use what you use. What works for you. I just take a glob of that gel, by the way, and I work it through the top for the most part first and through the underneath. So like basically my roots. Um, I found that a lot of curly girl followers try to get you to put like VO5 and like shea moisture, which I don't use for my hair. I never have. I just don't feel like it's something that I need to use for my hair. Um, I think it's too heavy for my hair, my hair type at least. And I'm gonna be honest, shea moisture is, is and was created for women of color. <laughs> okay, it's for their hair. So now like if you go into the store, women of color have an aisle this big for their hair, okay? Caucasian women have an entire aisle for their hair. And now, because it's curly girl approved and it's trendy, they wanna go and buy up all the Shea Moisture, they wanna go buy up all the Johnson & Johnson that's for babies. <laughs> So it's just like, for me, it's like, calm down. There's so many other items out there. You don't need to go and buy all these things. And then I heard my brother-in-law said that people were buying up pink lotion that is specifically for women of color. So these Caucasian women are putting this really heavy lotion in their hair that they don't need. And their hair looks like they haven't bathed in weeks. So it's just a PSA. Like, leave their stuff alone. They don't get a lot. Like we're given this entire aisle of products for our hair. And I have curly hair, like curly hair. I'm still not gonna go into the women of color's hair care and go, yeah, let's buy all this out. And then now they're kind of stuck because you as a Caucasian person can go and buy something else if they're out of Shea Moisture. Women of color can only use specific stuff for their hair. So it just, that's just something that I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just think too deep into it, but I just don't find that it's acceptable to be going and purchasing all the shampoo and conditioner that you don't need for your hair type and taking it from people who do require a specific type of shampoo and conditioner. That's just my opinion on it. And second, I'm not putting VO5 in my hair. I'm sorry, maybe that makes me like bougie or stuck up, but I'm just, it's not happening. Like I did not come all this way with my curls to go, oh, you mean I can just use VO5 from the Dollar Tree? I don't think so. I'm just very, hmm, 
the whole curly girl thing recently has just been really getting on my nerves because it's like it's not even people who have legitimately curly hair now if you have curly hair obviously this is not for you i understand it's trendy i understand you want to have curly hair but just calm down just calm down calm down calm down and don't come for me a person who has had curly hair for many many years her whole life and talk about my stuff isn't curly girl approved because i don't care i don't care now that i'm done ranting thank you for coming to my ted talk i appreciate it usually i will flip my head upside down to do the things that i'm doing but i'm kind of going to the side so you guys don't see me just talking like this to you the whole freaking time like hey guys how do my curly hair but usually I will go um, flip it over, but I'm going to the side. You can either rake in your products, um, scrunch in your products. I know like some people use prayer hands where they go like this. I don't do that because I don't find that it um, flatters my curls. I actually find that it makes them more frizzy. So I go in and I guess I kind of forgot to tell you guys my next step. I go in with a little um, curl cream and this one is the Coconut Curl Styling Cream. It's thicker than gel. So it gives it a better hold. I will only put a very little on my roots with that. And then most of it just goes to my curls because I don't want, like I said in the beginning or earlier, I don't want my roots to have a lot of product because it will weigh it down and kind of get rid of that volume. So the second to last thing I do is I use a texturizing spray to put volume back in my roots. This one is from Way Hair Care, but I know that there's more out there. I love this one and I will just go to the root and give it a little spritz. Separate it again over here. Give it a little spritz. Um, I know that there's another like there has to be more Brands that carry stuff like this because this one is a little expensive. So check out Ulta I might have to go see if I can find one if you guys have one a texturizing spray That works really good for your hair leave it below and let me know because this one was kind of expensive and as much as I use, I would like to be able to not have to pay so much money out of my pocket. So after I put it in there, so I'll put one or two sprays here and then the rest kind of go through where my hair is going to lay. Ooh, look at her. Woo, and she's back to life. You see what I mean? So the last thing I do, also not curly girl, broken hair spray. So I just go through and I just make sure everything's scrunched. And then I just give it a little spritz, like through the curls, to just give it a little hold. Now, that's basically what I do for my second day. If I were doing a day one, like, wash, I would use my diffuser just to kind of get it more dry because your hair, obviously, getting out of the shower, my hair, like, really retains a lot of water. So I will use the diffuser to get it dry quicker and also to give myself more volume. But this is it, like... My curls are back to life. It's just a few steps. Um, it does take a few minutes, obviously, but it's really not bad. And I don't have to wash my hair again for it to be curly. And I don't have to go out looking a hot mess being frizzy. So if the one thing that I could act like 100% recommend to you guys is not going to be a product. It's going to be this. This has saved me so much time and so much mess. Um, because I don't have to go over the sink and try to like soak my hair and then it's too wet and I'm messy I'm wet everywhere. You don't have to get this one You can get a cheaper one from like the dollar store or Walmart, but it's not gonna miss like this It will more than likely squirt. I think some of them you can twist and they miss but I just love the way this one is I think this was I'm gonna say between nine and fifteen dollars. I don't remember on Amazon, but I absolutely love it. It gets the job done quickly, no mess, and then I add my products. Again, I'm not picky about the products. I think that if it works in your hair, you have curly hair and it works for you, then you use it. Um, don't go out and change your whole routine because all these people are making curly hair trendy and you feel as though you're not taking care of your curls because if the stuff you use has been working for your curls forever, then just use it. Just use it. Don't go get a bunch of stuff that you don't need. Don't go out and completely empty a shelf of hair care products that you don't even need for your hair type and leave the people who do need those without. All right, so just to recap for you guys, I wet my hair with my spray bottle. I scrunch it with the towel just in case it's a little too wet. Then I go in with mousse, any mousse that you want. Then I go in with my gel, any gel that you want. Then I go in with my curl cream, any curl cream that you want which by the way this is like $4.99 at TJ Maxx the girls with curl stuff is like literally the most inexpensive amazing curl stuff I've ever used 
then I go in with the texture spray at the roots if you don't need a lot of volume like sometimes mine just kind of gets like lifeless over here so that's why I do if you don't need a lot of volume you can skip that step and then I give it a little spurts with some hairspray and I'm out the door all right guys so that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it let me know down below what you guys use for your curly hair how you maintain it what's your favorite product do I need to try it um, and if you are a curly girl routine follower please there's no hate here we love you too it's just my opinion and my thoughts on it that's all from a curly girl person to another there's no hate there's no shade do what you want but as always guys I love you make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed what are you waiting for five beauty videos a week hit that button down there for me and I'll see you on the next one bye